just a few of our passion fruit on our vine. They're everywhere. Hi and welcome to Cheeky Richo's passion fruit juice extraction hack. We've got 14 ripe passion fruit off our vine. They are loaded, they are heavy and they are full. Fresh and this is how they've come. They're still warm from the sun and I will show you how to extract the juice quickly and easily. First thing we're going to do, and there's no easy way to do this, is to just cut the passion fruit in half and remove the pulp. We're going to be doing it in the thermo chef, so just tip that straight into the jug just with a spoon. Don't get it in the white pith at this stage, we don't need that. But if you do want to find a use for that, you're going to have to check out our Chicky Richo Passion Fruit Jam because that actually has a very little waste recipe and there's only two ingredients in it. So just remove all of our pulp into our jug. See how full they are? Two passion fruits so far, look how much juice we've got. Okay, and continue with the rest. Check this one out. He's all misshapen, he's sort of an egg shape. He had, he was growing through a fence and he had wire around his girth. You can just see the little marks there. He was released before he reached maturity and this is how he's turned out. Okay, those passion fruit have yielded over half a litre of juice, which is a significant amount for just a few passion fruit. Normally you would, to remove the seeds, you would normally just pour it into a sieve and then you keep squashing and squashing and squashing and it takes a long time to do it and you don't get it all extracted from the seeds. We're going to do it in the thermo shift jug. We're going to blitz it for one minute on speed four. It won't smash up the seeds, which would happen if you try to put it into a juice extractor. It will assist in removing every skerrick of this juice and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, one minute later on speed four, it hasn't destroyed the seeds at all, so you can actually dry those out and replant them if you like. But you just pour it straight into a sieve. Much of the juice will actually squeeze through. Now you just press it through and you can see that the seeds are well and truly separating from the pulp. From time to time without any seeds on it just scrape the bottom off the sieve and that will actually make sure that all of the fluid is released and the pulp that might be actually blocking up the little holes in the sieve is removed so you can keep squashing it through it really literally only takes a few minutes and you'll end up with a packet of passion fruit seeds that you can dry and grow or just discard Now, this is pretty well what you're left with. There's very, very little pulp left on that, but there's still some flavour in it. So if you pop that back into the Thermo Shift jug, look how much you've got out of, what, 14 passion fruit. Oh, it's oodles. I'll wait for you a minute and tell you. You see how they're sort of flicked up the sides? Just tip that back into the jug. Pour in a litre or so of water. Whiz it up again, strain it again, and you'll have a beautiful drink, which is just pure passion fruit and water. A lovely fruit-infused drink. Okay, just in with our water on top of our seeds and that'll actually wash the rest of the pulp off those seeds strain it again and you've got no waste okay you can see how the seeds have all been washed it's sort of all frothy there we're just going to pour them through the same sieve into our jug and that's just water and passion fruit juice and that would have just been wasted. There's a very economical use of the passion fruit. Mix this with orange juice, lime juice, anything that you like, pineapple juice, or use it in your cocktails. Okay, and that's all that you have left as waste from our juice. And the seeds have all separated into the bottom there. Let's tip those out as well. Big handy hint, huh? See? That's a bunch that I collected yesterday from a whole washing basket full of passion fruit. So they're going to be dried out and given to all of our friends and they're going to be used in our passion fruits for next year. Okay, just a couple of minutes and we have got 550 grams of pure passion fruit juice with no seeds and a lovely refreshing passion fruit juice drink. Which has got no sugar in it, it's just diluted with some water, but you've got all of the pulp and everything in there, all the vitamins, nothing's wasted. It tastes amazing. Sweeten it if you wish, but you don't need to. It's tangy, refreshing, and delicious. Thanks for watching. Chiggy Richo's Passion Fruit Jam.